Normally, animals are only able to mate with those of their own species, but there are some that are so closely related to others that it's actually biologically possible for them to create viable offspring. It's extremely rare in the wild and tends to only happen in captivity, but even the odds of achieving a successful birth are remote. This doesn't mean it never happens, though, and true hybrids are some of the most interesting and unusual creatures you'll ever see roaming the world. From underwater wonders to powerful farm animals, here are the top 15 most rare crossbreed animals. Number 15, Wolfen. Possibly the rarest of all the known hybrid animals is the Wolfen, which is defined as being the offspring of a female bottlenose dolphin and a male false killer whale. As both are members of the dolphin family, it's not surprising from a biological standpoint. But because the parent species are so different in size and hardly have anything to do with each other in the wild, it's thought that only a handful of wolfins have ever been born. The first time one was known to be born in captivity was at the Tokyo Sea World in 1981, and that individual only lived for around 200 days. A few years later, in 1985, a female wolfin was born in the Sea Life Park in Hawaii, and this one is still alive to this day, and has even had offspring herself after being kept in a tank with a male bottlenose dolphin. Several wolfins have also been spotted in the wild, but because they live in the open ocean, it's impossible to know much about them, or whether they're able to survive for long. From what's been seen in captivity, though, they aren't nursed by their mothers in the same way as they would be if they were dolphins or false killer whales, so it's likely that they don't last far beyond infancy. Number 14, Jag Lion. A Jag Lion, which may also seem being referred to as a Jaguan, is an offspring of a male jaguar and a female lion. This is, of course, something that does not happen in the wild, because jaguars are a cat species native to the Americas, and lions are native to Africa and India. But since they're increasingly being kept in the same enclosures in zoos around the world, they now have more chances to get to know one another and produce offspring. As is often the case with hybrids, it's a random chance which of the parents' genes will be expressed more, and jag lions tend to either have more dominant jaguar or lion traits, as opposed to being a full amalgamation of both. Currently, the only officially known jag lions in the world can be found at the Bear Creek Sanctuary in Ontario, Canada, an organization that's dedicated to rescuing and taking care of rare animal species. They had a female lion and a male jaguar that had been raised together and were being kept in the same place, and despite efforts being made by the keepers to separate them when the lioness was receptive, nature always finds a way. The result was two jag lions, Jazara and Tsunami, and based on coloration alone, Jazara is clearly more jaguar and Tsunami is more lion. Their two parents are now kept completely separate, but the siblings have been raised together and continue living in the same paddock at the sanctuary for more than 15 years after they were born. Number 13, Zonki. The result of a zebra mating with a donkey. Zonkis are often also called zenkis, zebrases, or zadonks, depending on which species the father and mother are. In a similar way to many other hybrids, the resulting genetic makeup of the animals, specifically the odd number of chromosomes they have, means that they're sterile and unable to breed successive generations, and this only adds to their rarity. Zonkeys are, however, born naturally in the wild in some regions in Africa, where zebras and donkeys share habitats, and they'll usually look much more like a donkey, but with the recognizable striped fur of a zebra. They're far more common in zoos, though, after being purposefully bred to become visitor attractions. Quite often, because of the way they appear, people mistake them for being friendly animals. But despite having donkey genetics, which are animals that have been domesticated for hundreds of years, they develop wild animal tendencies from their zebra heritage, and this means they can be an extremely aggressive animal. They have, though, been found to be surprisingly strong, with a combination of donkey's stamina and a zebra's speed and power, so they're also used as work animals to tow heavy loads. If you've ever been to Tijuana, Mexico, you may well believe you've already seen a zonkey in real life. But in a tradition that started at some point in the 1930s, when photographs were only possible in monochrome, it's quite common to paint donkeys with stripes to make them appear as if they're a hybrid in order to attract the attention of tourists, so they'll pay the owners to take images of them. Number 12, Cheeto. Not to be confused with one of the world's favorite cheesy, crunchy snacks, the Cheeto is a rare hybrid cat breed that's a mix of a Bengal and an Asa cat. 
They were purposefully created as part of a breeding program that aimed to create something new that was highly intelligent, larger than most domesticated cats, and with a wild look, but without adding any further wild genetics, so they retain a gentle temperament. The result was a breed that has a distinctive spotty and sleek velvety coat and has a low-shouldered, wild cat-like walk, but are at the same time extremely affectionate. Available in a range of colors, from black and brown to silver, and even gold spots on white, they're still relatively hard to find, but are becoming an increasingly popular breed with owners as they gain more notoriety. Anyone looking to keep one of these as a pet needs to be prepared, though. They are fantastic swimmers and love water, so they'll need to have a pool or a pond they can access. And they're also highly energetic climbers that can pounce to extreme heights, and when running on the ground, reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour in short bursts. Number 11. Koi Wolf Canines all have a very similar genetic makeup, and while each species tends to keep within their own groups in the wild, it's not unheard of for them to breed with others, especially in tough times or when there aren't enough available mates of their own species. Almost all North American gray wolves, for example, have traces of coyote DNA in them from historical mergers. But the first generation of the offspring of a coyote and an eastern wolf or a gray wolf is called a koi wolf. Normally growing to be larger than a coyote but smaller than a wolf, they take on behavioral traits from both sides, particularly when they're pups, so are more cooperative in social groups than coyotes, but less aggressive than wolves. What's perhaps most interesting about koi wolves, though, is what researchers have subsequently learned after investigating how often the various species interbreed. It's now believed that all the native canids in North America, whether they be wolves or coyotes, have descended from a common ancestor that lived between 6,000 and 120,000 years ago. Furthermore, despite the divergence, the species that were thought to exist in their own right, such as red wolves and eastern wolves, are actually hybrids of gray wolves and coyotes. Number 10. Millard Millards are a type of domestic duck hybrid, more specifically the result of crossing a domestic Muscovy duck with a domestic mallard. This is something that's possible but extremely rare in the wild, because duck species will usually only breed with their own kind, but conversely, it's one of the most common types of purposeful hybridizations in captivity, where because the ducks don't naturally like to mate with one another, it's done via artificial insemination. The most common type of breed to be crossed with a Muscovy is an American Peccan, and this gives a clue as to why Millards are so popular in farms around the world. Peccans and White Muscovies are the most commonly farmed duck breeds, with each breed having particular traits that are beneficial. Peccans have a higher meat production, and Muscovies tend to be hardier and calmer, traits that are all associated with Millards. The main use for Millards is a replacement for geese, which are much more expensive and tricky to breed. In particular, Millards now account for the vast majority of foie gras production around the world because of this, and the fact they're easier to force feed than other birds, something that has understandably been controversial, particularly amongst animal welfare groups. Number 9. Liger Usually, you wouldn't expect a hybrid to outgrow the size of both its parents, but the liger is unique in various different ways. The result of crossing a male lion and a female tiger, as opposed to a tigon, which has the opposite parentage. They're actually the largest of all cat breeds in the world. There is a slight overlap in the natural territories of lions and tigers, and while they would normally avoid encroaching on each other's territory in the wild, there have been several documented instances of ligers being born naturally. In fact, the earliest records of the hybrids date back into the early 1800s. After realizing this was possible, there were a number born in captivity in the following decades, after trainers specifically tried to create them. Identifiable by a faint tiger stripe pattern and possibly a few lion rosettes, their fur is usually tawny, sandy, or golden. Their undersides are pale in the same way as tigers, and with very specific breeding, white ligers are also possible. They take on certain behavioral traits from each parent, with the liger tending to be very sociable like lions, and take on the playful investigative nature of tigers, as well as their love for swimming. Growing up to 11 and a half feet long, the only other cat breed that comes anywhere near close to their size is the incredibly rare Litigon, of which only two individuals have ever been documented, and are the offspring of a male lion and a female tigon. Number 8. Zoe A Zoe, which is often seen in Tibet, is the hybrid of a yak and a domestic cattle, 
an animal that's known as a kainog in Mongolia and often as a yattle in English. You won't often see them in most places around the world, but in Tibet and Mongolia, they've been found to be particularly suited to the mountainous conditions and are said to be far more successful in terms of meat and milk production. Growing to be larger and stronger than a yak or cattle in the region, they are much better suited to the nomadic lifestyles of the farmers there too. And there's an unusual improvement on the cellular level that explains why this is the case. They receive a specific type of protein from each of their parents that combines and alters the makeup and behavior of the mitochondria in their cells, and essentially makes them able to function with far lower concentrations of oxygen than yak or cattle, which has obvious advantages when living at high altitude. The female hybrids, known as Zomo, are able to breed with yaks or cattle, but the males are infertile, so aren't able to mate at all. As they are so popular in the two countries, it's thought that every single yak or cattle actually has traced genetic elements from the other species, which is something that's very unusual anywhere else. Number 7. Lepin Another two wild cat species that often encounter each other in the wild are leopards and lions. And when a male leopard breeds with a female lion, the resulting youngsters are known as lepins. As the species rarely interact in the wild, it's not known if lepins have ever been born naturally, but they've regularly been born in captivity when owners purposefully encourage them to mate with one another. The first two lepins are believed to have been bred in Kolhapur, India in 1859, and while one of them died a few months later, the other survived for at least another 52 years. Retaining head features that resemble that of a lion and the remaining body being closer to that of a leopard, they have brown spots instead of black ones, tufted tails, and the males have a noticeably sparse mane that's nowhere near as bushy and developed as a lion's. They'll also grow larger than a leopard, but smaller than a large lion when they've reached maturity. In terms of their behavior, leopards take on predominantly leopard traits, such as a love for water and for climbing. But they also show a higher sense of socializing than leopards, which is far more similar to the group dynamics of lions. Number 6. Geep A geep, which is also sometimes known as a shoat, is the offspring that's born as the result of a goat mating with a sheep. Despite the animals seeming to be similar and be more closely related than they are to others, they're still different enough on a genetic level that's very unusual for a geep to actually survive into adulthood. This is because a sheep has 54 chromosomes, while goats have 60, and mean that most offspring are stillborn, except in extremely rare circumstances. A true geep was, for example, born in Botswana in 2000, which was found to have 57 chromosomes, the intermediate of the two parent animals, and they had a large sheep-like body with long goat-like legs, a coarse outer coat, and a woolly undercoat. Since then, several other individuals have been documented that also had 57 chromosomes, and perhaps more surprisingly, some of them were found to be fertile and able to breed as well. Recent confirmations have been possible because of the ability to test the genomes of the animals, but the ability to make a goat-sheep hybrid has long been spoken of, and it's not entirely clear how often it's happened previously. Evidence in the past few years suggests that neither sheep nor goats accept geep as one of their own, so this leads to them being abandoned and only able to survive with human intervention. So it's quite likely that even if they had been born alive, their chances of survival in previous centuries would have been incredibly low. Number 5. Kama it's been speculated as far back as 1871 that it would be possible to create offspring between a camel and a llama, and that there would be a beneficial result if this was done. But with the camel weighing as much as six times that of a llama, it wasn't simply as easy as leaving a male and a female in a paddock together and letting nature take its course. In fact, it was only in January of 1998 at the Camel Reproduction Center in Dubai, and this was the result of artificial insemination. Various different methods were tried, but researchers found that the only viable combination was by using a male camel and a female llama. The hope was that the kama would have the strength and the size of a camel, but the temperament of a llama, and because of its size, the ability to produce much more wool. But the result wasn't exactly as intended. The first that was born, which was male, reached sexual maturity by the age of four, at which time it began to show interest in female llamas and a guanaco, which is a species that's closely related to the llama but it was far more aggressive than had been expected. The Institute continued to produce another four commas in the following years, though, including a female, 
and they still hope that one day they'll be able to perfect the technique so the animals produce and behave in the precise way that they want. Number 4. Narluga It's difficult to know for certain just how many different types of hybrids occur naturally in the wild, especially in the oceans where it's far more tricky to see them. It had long been theorized that because of their similarities, beluga whales and narwhals might be able to produce offspring, but it was only recently that the existence of narlugas was proven to be a reality. In 1990, an Inuit hunter found a strange skull in Greenland, which appeared to have properties you'd expect from both species. Narwhals are known for their characteristic horns, which are actually extended teeth. And this specimen didn't have an actual horn, but instead the teeth in its mouth were spiraled, just like a narwhal's horn is. With further similarities to a beluga whale, it was held up as the first example of a true hybrid, but it would be almost 30 years until this was known for certain. In 2019, extensive genetic tests were carried out on the skull, and it was, indeed, discovered to be the hybrid calf of a male beluga whale and a female narwhal. It's still not clear how often this occurs, but researchers now believe it's possibly far more common than was originally thought. Number 3. Zubron First created in Poland in 1847, the Zubron is a hybrid between domestic cattle and a European bison. It is, in essence, the European equivalent of the American beefalo, which itself is a cross between cattle and an American bison. And while attempts have been made on both sides of the Atlantic to produce herds, they haven't turned out to be as profitable or enduring as breeders had wanted. The idea was to create a breed that took on far more favorable traits in the parent breeds, in other words, increased milk and meat production, while being hardy, disease-resistant, and strong. In the Polish experiments, however, the resulting animals did prove to be much more resilient, but there were other issues in terms of their behavior and meat production that meant they were deemed to be unsatisfactory. With adults weighing as much as 2,600 pounds or 1,200 kilos, the ones that were created were allowed to live out their lives, but the breeding program was brought to an end in the late 1980s. Number 2. Tygon Defined as being the offspring of a male tiger and a female lion, Tigons are noticeably different to ligers, which have the parentage the other way around. Never growing to be larger than their parents, Tigons often reach a weight of around 400 pounds in adulthood, and they inherit characteristics from both lions and tigers. Most often, these will be lion spots and tiger stripes, and males will develop a much shorter mane than if they were full lions, with its size being much more similar to the ruff of a tiger. Because the territories of lions and tigers no longer overlap, modern tigons are only ever born in captivity, with the first ones being recorded more than a century ago in India. It's quite possible, however, that they would have occurred naturally in the wild in the past, particularly when lions and Bengal tigers shared the same habitats in India. But evidence of this is yet to be found. For a long time, it was believed that tigons, in a similar way to many other hybrids, were sterile, this belief was overturned in 1943 at a zoo in Munich, Germany, when a hybrid successfully mated with a lion. Second-generation hybrids are, though, incredibly rare and have only ever been known to be the result of a tigon mating with a lion, in which case they're known as litigons. Number 1. Growler Bear Hybrid animals are most commonly created as a result of human interference, whether it be purposefully encouraging species to breed in captivity or simply because animals that wouldn't normally encounter each other in nature are kept in the same enclosures. But there are cases of hybrids being born in the wild that are becoming more common not because of purposeful human activity, but because of the consequences of our actions on the planet. Climate change is forcing some species to move to new territories that they've never ventured into before, and in the Arctic, this has resulted in polar bears traveling further south. This has brought them into the traditional habitats of grizzly bears, which have also begun moving further north, and as they're closely related, they've begun to breed. The result is what's known as a growler bear, or a pizzly, and they generally take on intermediate traits of their parents. With bodies that are smaller than that of polar bears, but larger than grizzlies, their neck size is almost the average of the two, and so is their head shape. 
Their hairs are more similar to the structure of those of the polar bear, however, despite being a mixture of white and brown, and their temperament is also far more similar to that of a polar bear, from the way that they lie on the ground with their rear legs splayed, to the way that they stomp on the ground and hurl prey into large rocks or other sturdy objects. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.